Hello and welcome to another Rightly Wittery. Cheers! So, I've had an interesting week. This week, this turned up. Always nice to have a large print version of your books. Large print. This is the latest book. If you'd like a good read during lockdown, you can't do better than one of mine. Anyway, that's the promotional bit done. Today I'm going to talk about Pineda because a very nice chap at Conway Stewart has sent me a Pineda snorkel and I'm going to talk about real world problems with these two. Okay, so you're thinking what are the real world problems you can have? Well, one real world problem is what do you do when you're travelling away and you want to keep your pen with ink in it? Now I've been using Visconti ink fillers. This is an alternative and it's rather ingenious. I have spoken about this in a separate video before, but I got things wrong because I didn't realise some of the details. One thing I got wrong was I couldn't get my pens to fit in this clever design. Because what you have here is a travelling inkwell. It's graduated on the side so you can see exactly how much ink you've got in it. Don't go above this level because if you do that when you try to fill your pen you'll probably squirt ink all over the place. Inside it has this clever little silicon squidgy thing and what happens is you put your pen inside here with this cap on top and as the cap screws down it constricts this because it's a cone inside there. So basically it's squidging the silicone around your pen to form a really tight barrier so you can fill your pen upside down and that means you get every last drop of ink out of the inkwell. Now I had problems because I couldn't get it to work with my pens but that was largely because I was using pens that were the wrong size. What I didn't realise was it shows on the side here the dimensions of the pens you can fill. So you can fill quite large ones, 13 and a half millimetres wide and you can fill thin ones, nine and a half millimetres wide. So it shows you which size of pen you can actually fill, which I hadn't spotted, which made me feel a bit of a twerp. But it is a really useful, well-designed travelling inkwell, which goes along with my Visconti travelling inkwell, which is also very well designed and very useful. So that is a quick update on the Pineda travelling inkwell. It is a good design, very reasonably priced. However, let's move on to another topic, which is what do you do when you've got not quite enough ink to be able to dip a pen into? Now, with this, it's a Waterman bottle, so you can tip it on its side and you can get a bit more ink into your pen. But I was talking to those nice chaps at Conway Stewart and I said, wouldn't it be good if you had some sort of design whereby you could put the cartridge into, let's say, a blind nib holder section and then put that straight into an inkwell. And they said, well, hang about, I think we've got a snorkel somewhere. Would you like to have a look at it? And I said, yes. And so they sent me this. Now, what they did was they sent me the internals of a Conway Stewart. So here we have the cartridge converter. Just pulls out. And my idea was, well, you could get a snorkel to fit in that nib holder, perhaps, and then dunk that into your pot of very dusty, I should have cleaned this before I started filming, very dusty ink and you'll be able to suck up all the last 
let's just do it the other way, and you'll be able to suck up all the last amount of ink, so nothing goes to waste. It was for a purely selfish point of view too, which was that I was I have been given a number of very very small sample bottles, and each of these sample bottles is too small for me to stick a standard pens nib into. I assume they're ideal for people who refill cartridges or fill cartridge converters from a syringe, but I don't possess a syringe. I'm a boring sort of a person and I've never had an interest in one. But what those nice people at Conway Stewart sent me was this, which is a Pineda snorkel. Now they do two types. This is one type which is designed just for Pineda pens and it's the perfect size to fit into a Pineda pen. Apparently it's got a little rubber o-ring, I assume. That's quite nice. But instead, I was sent this version, ah, which flicks around neatly if you do that. And this one has the top level designed to fit Pineda cartridge converters. Then the next level fits Lam Lamy, Parker and Aurora. Then the next one fits Platinum, the next one, and you can see the sort of idea. So what is so good about these things? Well, the idea is, well, the idea I was discussing with Conway Stewart was that if I could get a nib holder like this, then every time I wanted to use a Conway Stewart, all I'd have to do would be to dunk that into the ink, suck it up, and you're away. And it works. So let's see here. Now this is just sitting loosely inside the nib holder. Everything is going wrong today. My computer's decided to not function. I have other problems. So there we go. It is stuck in the ink. All I do now is turn that and even though it's just sitting there loosely, it sucks ink up. Isn't that amazing? In fact, more than amazing, isn't that fantastic? It's really efficient. So let's just see. Does it work with all types of pen? Very likely. In fact, not only very likely, yes it does. So here's my Caveco, which I do actually want to have filled with this ink right now. So all I do, suck it up. There you go, done. Now, can you imagine a more simple and effective way of filling your pen when you're trying to get the last dregs out of the bottom of an ink bottle? Because I certainly cannot. That, to me, is just about the perfect design in terms of simplicity and efficiency. Got to clean that out now. Got to clean that out now. Got to clean that out now. You see the trouble I go to just for you guys. All these things to be cleaned, just as a result of showing you how to fill a pen. Here's a notepad I made earlier. And now I can say quite happily, I, whoops, hold on. First, of course, I'll have to get the ink flowing. So let's just take the simple approach, dip it in there. That should be enough. And I've showed it with Havan. Which I still like as a really nice brown ink. Now. What is obvious with this is that it's going to work very well with big ink bottles, it'll work with little ink bottles, it'll work with any size ink bottle. One thing that's always a problem is trying to fill from something like this, one of these samples. I tend to find that my Viscontis will only get ink up to about that level. With this I can use any ink from one of those bottles in pretty much 
any pen that uses a cartridge converter. I can't think of any pens that wouldn't work with it. So my Conway Stewart's, my Drake and others, are now going to get reused to finish off all of my little samples of ink. Absolutely ideal. So there we have it. A simple little device. And what it means is all of these tiny little ink bottles can now be used because I've been sitting thinking well how do I use how do I use this I haven't got a syringe I can't just squirt ink into some alternative now with that little Pineda snorkel designed by the marvelous Dante Del Vecchio who used to be the guy who designed all of his Conti pens he's the guy who designed the Homo sapiens and all of the other gorgeous pens they have there now, because of his inventiveness, I can use all those inks, and that's an absolute delight. What's going to be a delight next week is I'm going to be doing some painting, because those very nice chaps at Cult Pens and Derwent have sent me some new paints, watercolour paints, which are full of graphite, so they give a fantastically strange spooky sort of atmosphere to paintings and I'm really looking forward to testing them. So next week I'll be talking paints for a change. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed that go to the link at the bottom Patreon. You can help support the site. Won't that be good? Comments down the bottom. I'll answer them as quickly as I can. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell and then you'll get notified when something comes. All that stuff. You know how to do it. Hit the like and share it with your friends and then hopefully I'll be able to do more videos because if nobody's watching there's very little point. Never mind. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a good week. Keep safe, keep healthy and speak to you soon. Cheers. You're still there? I've got some washing to do. Go away.